We're here with head men's basketball coach Isaiah Cavaco for his first check-in of 2012 right here on Goyo.com. Uh, coach, coming off a 1-2 uh, and two week last week, had a couple of tight NCAC losses to uh, Denison and Worcester and uh, had a nice convincing win in there against uh, OU Zanesville. Let's first talk about them conference games there. Um, like I said, very, very closely contested, but uh, came up a little bit short. So what do we got to do to get over the hump? Well, I think what we saw against Worcester was we had a, a total team effort. Everybody contributed. Uh, we probably had you know eight or nine guys play significant roles uh, against Denison. I felt like you know some of our guys, you know, other than Andrew, Josh, and Jeff, uh, just really didn't have it going that day. So uh, you know, I think if you combine the two efforts, we probably could have come away with two wins. Um, but you know, I think hopefully we've learned from that and uh, we can do well moving forward. Yeah, definitely a, a positive momentum builder, especially against the Scots. There, you know, led the entire first half and had it tight all the way down there, uh, all the way to the end. Um, you know, and then OU Zanesville game got an opportunity to play some of the young guys that stepped up. You know, some confidence builders. So, what do you think you took away from that game? I think some guys learned, um, you know, exactly what they're capable of doing and not doing. Uh, hopefully, it was revealing to some of the younger guys. And I think, uh, especially with uh, EJ Lewis, he he really stepped his game up against Worcester. Um, we've really emphasized for him, for Charlie, for Miles, Jesse, some of those guys. They need to be more assertive offensively. You know, we can't defer to Josh, Andrew, and Jeff all the time. And uh, I think you know EJ really learned that lesson and it showed in his performance against Worcester. Yeah, looking ahead here this week, a couple more conference games. First, you got Allegheny on Wednesday night here at home, and then you head out to Wabash on the weekend. So, what do we know about the uh, Gators? Well, Allegheny's led by an inside guy, which is um, you know if you just look at the box scores, that's been one of our our weak spots, uh, so I'm sure they're going to try to exploit that. James Ness is a very good player for them. Uh, I think Danny can handle it. I think he did a great job against Allegheny last year, uh, and we just need to come to play. We're back on our home floor. I think we shoot the ball better at home, so uh, you know we just need to have energy and, and do what we do well. Yeah, and then looking ahead at the Little Giants on Saturday, uh, obviously a tough place to play out there, a team that's ranked in the top 25, uh, but we seem to match up well with them and have given them some close battles uh, over the past couple years, so uh, how do we try to sh shut down the Giants? I think um, you know, the biggest thing is we can't go in there thinking you know it's Wabash. They're you know they're, they're just like everybody else. Uh, I think you know the way we approach Worcester, um, you know, will give us a chance to win. Uh, and then at the end of the game, we just uh, we can't play against the the wording on the chest. You know, we've, we've got to just go out there and, and do our thing. Thanks, coach. And good luck this week. Thanks.